Hey guys, how's it going? Ghosty Rich here today, and today we're going to be removing this stereo from this Toyota FJ 2007. First thing you need to know is down here, there is two Phillips, one on each side. Take the one out of right here and take the one out of right there. Once you've removed those screws, go ahead, get your nail underneath, and you should be able to just pop these forward just like that. This side too, literally just pops out. All right, let's see if we can get some light on the situation. Look at that, Phillips screw right there, and Phillips screw right there. Make sure you pop out the two Phillips so we can pop off this front panel. You've taken out that Phillips screw and that Phillips screw, grab right here and pop this forward. From here, you have a bunch of tabs to release. Right there. Let's see, if I actually get rid of that, that's better. Perfect. Compress the tab and pull out. Compress this tab and pull out. And grab, then do the same down here. Compress the tab and pull out and we are free. Put this off to the side. Now that we're in here, we can remove the stereo. Go ahead and pull out, it looks like a bunch of 10 mils. One, two, three, and four. Perfect. After you pop out those 10 mils, take this, fold it forward. And again, we'll have another clip right here. Those will be the exact same. Just squeeze those three clips, pop them out, and then just slide out the antenna. As you can see, your old deck was much thicker. And this new one is very thin. So, see how there's four holes? We're only gonna actually utilize two of those holes, which is fine. So what you're gonna do is take out all these screws right here on that bracket, and we're lining this up so we know exactly where those two screws have to go. So those two screws in the front need to go to the two screws over here. And what that's going to do is support the deck. We are no longer gonna utilize those rear ones. The other thing we have to do is add in our adapters. So I don't have the adapter part number, oh, there it is, it's 1761 from Metra or whichever. So you can get it from Metra if you'd like. This is an Alpine deck, so since we're using Alpine and we wanna bypass a couple things, we are going to be using this universal bypass trigger so that way we can do settings on the fly and not have to worry about the parking brake being pulled or doing the sequence of parking brake, foot brake, parking brake, foot brake, which is what is required for Alpine decks. So now that we've gone ahead and gone over that, we've got this, oh, and this right here. Sorry, those were for the adapters for the speakers I just put in. Um, this right here, which again has the part number ripped off, uh, there it is. 958202. This is going to add some side skirts when we're bolting it on so it fills up the whole old spot. Take a look at how much I trimmed off here. And that's what they come as. So I'm going to actually come over here, be very careful, and just trim the plastic right along here so that way it'll fit around this metal bezel piece. What I decided to do was cut off this bottom one. Why? Because it has this little dimple on here. You do that, you're going to file down that nub and make it so it's flat, so this sits flat on the radio. Just like that. Actually, maybe a little more. This is the final deck configuration. As you can see with this very thin deck, if you go to the stereo, see and note the position. If there's two higher holes and two lower holes, you just want to go to the lowest setting possible. It sits just like this, and then you have to file and cut down the plastic trim piece so it'll fit just like this. Now you can see that both of these line up. Looks good. Leave the screen protector on, obviously, until you're all done. But now that we have that, now we can start doing our wiring harness. So, DAC is ready to go in. Unwrap all the wiring. Let's go in the wires and what they do. The two grays are here. These are your right front speaker. The whites right here are your left front speaker. And how you know is it'll say on it, and the white black is the negative to the speaker. The gray black is the negative to the speaker. Why does he have them zap strap though? It's because I'm running an amplifier, so I won't actually be using those. You still need to hook them up, just match color to color. That's it. 
Same with this extra connector. See these purples and the um, greens? This is your left rear, this is your right rear. For me, since I'm using and running my own speaker wires, I don't use that. You can if you'd like to. The thing is with the FJ, it doesn't really have rear speakers. With this one, I noticed that there's something in the headrest, so you might end up using that for this. Another thing to keep note, certain decks will actually do the Bluetooth mic out the rear speakers. So what you might have to do is actually trick the deck by running the purples to the rear, or sorry, the purples to the front speakers if you're not getting Bluetooth audio. Meaning, let's say you're talking to someone on the phone and you can't hear them. The reason why is because it's trying to pump it through the rear speakers. I don't know why certain companies ever did that, but it just did. So if you're running into an issue later on where you're troubleshooting and that happens, that means that you need to, off this harness, run these to the purple and green rather than the white and gray, so that way you will get proper sound. Anyways, that's a troubleshooting step. I don't want you to get confused. For the purposes of this video, and if you don't have this issue, hook the whites up to the whites, the grays up to the grays, the purples up to the purples, and the greens up to the greens. From there, your yellow wire here goes to the yellow wire there. That is your constant power. The red is the switched power, which turns off with the key. So put the red to the red wire. Super simple, right? Black to the black wire. Now where this is different with this deck in particular and why it's so important to check this. This orange wire is an illumination wire. Well, this deck doesn't use illumination. So instead, out of the orange white wire is your reverse wire. This is for a backup camera. So you do not want to hook up this illumination wire to that orange white. Now, if you had a certain stereo where when you read it or looked in the manual, it said that this was an illumination wire, you would go ahead and hook it up to this one if you wanted the deck to dim the moment you flick that switch with your headlights on. I actually don't like to hook up illumination. And the reason why is because there's nothing worse than turning your headlights on in a foggy day when it's really bright out and all of a sudden it dims your stereo down to a point where you can't see it at all. That is a disadvantage of hooking up the illumination. So if you have illumination, use it at your own risk and you can always tape it up if you don't want. All right, now that we've gone over what our wires need to do, like I said, you can either butt connect or you can solder. I'm going to end up soldering and I'll show you what my wiring harness looks like afterwards and how this was hooked up. All right, so like I said, black to black, red to red, yellow to yellow. The orange white I've left because I'm going to put a bullet connector on here because that's going to go to the rear reverse and then that way it turns on my backup camera. And then if we take a look here, I've already moved the illumination wire back here. Those are my speaker wires which I'll trim up and do stuff afterwards and same with here. But again, for the average person, make sure you hook up your purple, purple black, green, green black, white black, white, gray, black gray, gray black, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, so now that we've got our harness ready, you can go ahead and plug this in and your deck should work. For me, I have to just make sure I plug in my RCAs and stuff. You will see that later on in this video and why I haven't hooked up the speaker. Unless you have a Alpine that requires the foot brake to be hooked up, you do not need to hook up this yellow wire right here from the AX trig. If you're running your Bluetooth mic, shove that in through the side of the steering wheel. Check this out. And it's right there. I don't know if you can see that. See how I'm moving the zap strap? How you do that is just slowly add bends to the zap strap, slide it in there, and then it'll curl around just enough that it's right there tape on the uh, Bluetooth microphone to one side of it and then pull it through. And that's as easy as it is. As you can see, we got the deck up here. Right here, you had an old aux input for your old deck maybe. You can actually reach behind here and if you feel for it, you can pop it out just like that, just by pushing on the back of it. And now you have a place to run your USB. You can just unplug this just by 
squishing the tab there, sliding this in, and pop your USB out here, and you can reach that easy enough if you have a rear-facing USB. The other thing is you get to decide where the heck do you want your microphone. I always like to put my microphone right here above where the steering wheel is. And the reason why I always put my Bluetooth mic here is because if you put it up here, one, it's farther away from you, and two, if you have the window open, it's way harder to hear you. Also, windshield wipers. If you have those things going, you will hear them if they're catching or going. You might even catch the motor noise. I found putting it right here was great. I used some double-sided sticky, cleaned it up. If you want, and yours is really dirty, clean it with alcohol so that way it evaporates super quick. And if it's super cold, like you're doing this out in the middle of winter and it's outside, heat it up with a heat gun first and then stick it down. After that, aim it like this and tie up your extra. Plug in your three right here. Let's quickly go over this stereo before you uh, seal this up. Make sure that you remember to plug in your Bluetooth mic, all your RCAs if you're using aftermarket amps, the deck plug-in, the USB, and if you're using satellite, make sure you plug in the satellite attachment. And that's about it. Take a look at that. Admire it for a sec, don't worry about this. This has just got the screen protector on it. That's why you always leave the screen protector on until after it's installed. All right, we have our three plugs sticking out. We have nothing being pinched. Everything is nice and loose in there. And from there, we're gonna plug this in and slip the uh, piece back on. Screw back in here, the screw back in here. Go ahead, grab your side piece. Goes right there. Just like that. Just like that, put the two screws back in the bottom. So another little trick for you. Pop this by putting a flat blade in here, a flat blade in here, popped it out, took out the old aux port and hit this with a rasp and uh, kind of dremeled it out. Doesn't look the best, but I'll clean it up a tiny bit, then slide. And then I drilled two holes in here because what I'm gonna do is bring the zap strap through here, zip tie the cord right here and have my USB sitting right there. So it's kind of nice and flush right in the same hole where it was. Look at that, so there's your deck. And like I said, she's in there. If you wanted to, you could even use some black filler in here, whether you use black silicone, whatever you want, and just seal it in here. Do whatever you want. But like I said, I kind of like that. Go ahead, put your key in. Just put it to ACC on for right now. We'll wait for our deck. This one is an Alpine. Again, I'm leaving this on until absolutely everything's done and then I'll peel off the screen protector. English, ooh, I already heard that, so I can tell that our speakers are working. Ooh, thank gosh that didn't go on to anything. What I think I'm going to do is I have my USB stick in my Jeep. I'll bring that over and we can put some music on because I have some music that isn't copyright. But first, before we do that, Let's go ahead and turn down the volume or mute it. Let's do some settings first. So, system. We'll see what we can adjust. We'll adjust the clock afterwards. Um, I believe it's that time right there still, so we could just say it's 5, 49, 50, PM. Perfect. Dimmer, you can set your dimness. We have it on auto right now. You can change your illumination, whatever you want to do. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Uh, camera, I'll set up afterwards, I'm not doing that. Bluetooth is for if you're gonna set up your phone. Pretty easy, go ahead, click search, find your phone. I'm not gonna do that right now. If you hit search and it doesn't find your phone, open up your phone, hit Bluetooth, and look for the Alpine deck, or whatever deck you're connecting to it.